Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my three gospel websites, jesusheelsministries.org, prayingtongues.org and also peopleofjesus.org. Today we are going to read about how our eyes, the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened when we ask the Lord Jesus. 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 13 And he said, Go and spy out where Elisha is, that I may send and fetch Elisha. And it was told him, saying, Behold, Elisha is in Dothan. Therefore sent he to the horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city above. And when the servant of the man of God, Elisha, was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And Elisha's servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, O Lord Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, the servant, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Those were the angels of our Lord God, Jehovah, thousands upon thousands of angels. In the name of Jesus Christ, they are assigned to us to protect us and to be with us because we are the heirs of salvation, like it says in Hebrews. Matthew chapter 17, verse 1. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart. And Jesus was transfigured before them, and Jesus' face did shine as the sun, and Jesus' raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah, talking with Jesus. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord Jesus, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elijah. While Peter yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud will say, This is my beloved son Jesus. In Jesus I am well pleased, hear ye he him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise, and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man, save Jesus only. Acts chapter 9, verse 3. And as Saul journeyed, Saul came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about Saul, a light from heaven. And Saul fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And Saul said, Who art thou, Lord? The Lord Jesus said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Or in other words, uh, stop rebelling against me, against Jesus. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord Jesus, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord Jesus said unto Saul, Arise, and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Verse 12, And Saul had seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. Verse 17, And Ananias went his way and entered into the house, and putting his hands on Saul, said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way as thou came, has sent me that thou mightest receive thy sight, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And immediately there fell from Saul's eyes, as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith, and arose, and was baptized. And when he had received meat, he was strengthened. Then was Saul certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus.
and straight away he preached Christ Jesus in the synagogues that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, Jehovah Jesus for his people. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18 The eyes of our understanding being enlightened that we may know what the hope of his calling is and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Thank you for listening to me today. Jesus loves us all. Jesus heals us all. Jesus provides for us all. Always. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.